Hello guys, it's Rack here, and today I'm here with some World of Warships gameplay. I haven't forgotten about this game, I just was focusing on Macquarie Online more, but, you know, I picked it up yesterday again, and I had a pretty good match in the Sharn Horse that I want to share with you. Now, uh, World of Warships has been getting a lot of love from its developers recently, they are really polishing up the game and adding more content. They recently revamped the skill tree and PGI should take notice because that skill tree is actually pretty good. Um, it doesn't give you straight up buffs to the ships, it just gives you more choice uh, to drag the ship to um, the playstyles you want. But not without price, it, they're all pretty much trade-offs. Um, if you get one, you are compromising on another, and I really like it. But that's not the place to talk about it right now. We are in a match. I don't know, remember the name of this map. Um, but it's one of my favorites. It's, very, it's a very broad map. And um, I'm in the Scharnhorst, which is a tier 7 German battleship. Uh, it has 9 guns, but they are of lower caliber. So it's not like, you know, huge, super punchy uh, battleship guns. They are more like a step above cruiser guns. And I emitted the fire on that Omaha because Omaha is a tier 5 cruiser, it doesn't have much army, it's a, pa it's a pretty much a paper ship. I'm trying to do as much damage as I can to him, but he's been getting away with it, because uh, this was the first game I had in a, <laughs> in a week in World of Warships, so my aim was a bit spotty. And I see a Pensacola, it's a tier 7 American cruiser, uh, it's, it also has very little armor trying to hit it but he has a jukes looks like he's slowing down now so my shots won't connect but then I see this Minakaze a tier 5 Japanese destroyer which is very stealthy and has amazing torps it's a kamikaze actually the premium version I'm trying to hit it I try to shoot at the destroyers as much as I can because Every damage you do to them hurts them a lot because they can't heal and they have so little health pool. That's amazing, that's a glorious dispersion, you don't expect that from this ship. And my seconders are opening, I, I do have manual seconders on this because I love rolling in this. And they help me multitask. And it's one of the perks of having a German battleship. The German battleships are very brawly and I love it. Contemplating on shooting at that guy but looks, looks like he's slowing down and I decide not to. And take another pot shot at this guy. We don't quite get him. Now you you look at my positioning. I'm actually following my team. That's I usually go for A on this map but this time I decided not to and it actually worked out pretty well because the whole team goes to see which uh which a position it's a position I don't like because you're fighting behind mountains your vision is obstructed and if you if the enemy goes from middle uh, you're basically uh, gonna lose to caps and if, if they manage to hold the middle but this time I'm following my team um, taking pot shots saving my strength for the inevitable brawl in the in the end, hopefully. I'm trying to shoot that guy is right behind the mountain. I think I, they will connect. We get a 5700 damage. It's it's not too bad. It's pretty good for this ship. That's why what you do in the Sharn Horse against other ships, you whittle them away. You don't just blow them out of water. So they have two by irons, it seems, or even three. Uh, Bayern is a tier 6 German battleship by the way. It's also very brawly, but it doesn't have torps like me. Yes, the Scharnhorst is a battleship, but it has torps, so it's actually an amazing brawler. You got the gun. You got the guns. You got 9 guns. And if they connect at close range, you can do a lot of damage. You got great secondaries that will set the enemy on fire and whittle them away. And then you have torpedoes. So I'm, I was thinking of, you know, pushing them, because they're all coming towards me, but I decided not to, the time is not right. It's 
so I'll just keep sailing along this line. Trying to whittle them away. I stopped to shoot this Omaha. But then the I think that's a shores. Yep, the shores starts shooting me, so I decide to move because shores can do a lot of damage. It's a tier 7 Soviet cruiser with a lot of tiny guns. With a with an amazing fire chance. Moving up, I'm slowly taking the lead from my team. Because we need to do something. They have the middle, they have the cap lead. Um, we are equal in ships. One cruiser and one destroyer lost. We need to make something. We need to make something happen. And I see that Petsacola, he's alone. So it looks like a good target to deal with. And I think most of my team will uh, gravitate towards them. Juicy targets usually attract a lot of attention. But my aim wasn't quite right. He was sailing towards uh, the right side a little. And there's a New York just sitting there. And I decided to shoot him. And I immediately think that he must be a bad player. So I don't expect much retaliation from him. I keep selling broadside to him. But oh boy, he shoots me. Not too worried at this point, I'm angling. But oh my god, <laughs> he does a 12k shot to me in a New York. That's a tier 5, that's a World War 1 battleship. <laughs> and I'm really shocked at this point that he outplayed me so badly and I didn't do much damage to him at all. So I pop my repair, which repairs a nice amount. And I'm keep shooting at that Pensacola. He's behind the mountain, but I can't see where he's going. Uh, nope, he dies to somebody else. Oh well. And I am turning at this point. I believe it is time that we dealt with the, the enemy main body. And I see my other battleships. Uh, turning towards them as well on the min on the minimap, so I think we can take them on without getting focused to death. Minakazu shows up again, and well, that was a bad decision. He immediately dies. Now, looks like the enemy is sailing away. Looks like they are nascaring. Uh, kind of. They're chasing our tail. We're chasing their tail. I see the guys now. He's in the distance. Uh, that's where you don't want to be in <laughs> full health guys now. 10 minutes in. I'm not gonna do much damage to him, so I'm just kind of shooting him to farm as much damage as I can. Well, this is interesting. They are completely abandoning the middle and they're going for C. Are they. Do they want caps? Do they want a cap weapon? I don't know. I open up on that New York again. We do 4k, which is not <laughs> really spectacular. And I'm slowly. I try to keep angle towards him. He shoots me again. His aim isn't as good as that one before, that huge salvo before. With the 4k tomb again, as I said, you whittle away at enemy battleships in this thing. Unless you get close, where this thing really shines. But I really want him dead. And as we get closer, our penetration will be more, and our dispersion won't matter as much. We do 10k to him this time. And I really want him gone. I don't want a battleship on my flank because we're gonna be fighting two battleships, three battleships if we can't organize them all very shortly. And I'm actually thinking about whether if I should turn this corner or just go back. I don't want to chase them, so why not let them come to me? I got torps, they don't have any torps. If they come to me, they are at a disadvantage, so I decide to stop. 
I'm just stopping and I'm gonna turn back. New York stopped there. Get a nice salvo in him. That must have really hurt him. But I'm just worried that uh Torpedoes this destroyer will torp me. Yep, he is torping me. I can take one if I can avoid the first one. Nice. Okay, one is good. One is good. As so long as you don't get detonated, <laughs> one is good. And he opens up to me again, but I am broadside. I don't have any angle. It's gonna hurt. Yep, it it really does hurt. It does another 10k volley. And I'm just begging my team, I'm screaming, at, screaming at my team to shoot him. He, has, he only has 1k health, but nobody's shooting the New York. Come on, people. Because I don't want to eat another salvo from him. That's going to really hurt. And I'm worried about these two battleships on my side. Okay, somebody takes down the New York. That's really good. And I'm going to be meeting those Bayards head on. Oh, that's a very good dispersion there. Yep. <laughs> that must have been like a 5k volley, he immediately died. But now comes the manly part. We need to dispose of two enemy battleships at a relatively good health. So my secondaries and my torpedoes and my armor will need to do some work. I'm not very confident in my guns, as you see. They only did 15. <laughs> 1500 damage at this range but my secondaries are setting him on fire now I got my torpedoes so if they don't play it right they're gonna get torped and this is pretty much a dream situation in a shard horse and in a brawl one enemy battleship on each side so you can torp them simultaneously oh my god and it's happening get one because my guns are not doing at this anything at this angle get one and we're gonna get the second holy so close and he doesn't anticipate the torpedo he's so late he has no chance <laughs> down he goes now we have a sims on our flank but my secondaries are opening up on him as I said, I have metal secondaries, so they are very accurate. And my main guns really do hurt destroyers. Smokes up. And I didn't mention, but I stopped. I was anticipating his torps. I stopped and turned. And I completely juked his tor torpedoes. And he's completely helpless now. Until he reloads. And it's gonna take a minute or a minute and a half. So for the next. 100 seconds, he's, he's, he needs to run, he can't do anything to me, and that's the best part about German battleships. If you dodge the initial torp spam, the destroyers are absolutely helpless against you because you have amazing secondaries. And I just. And it's time to kill him with my secondaries, I'm not gonna shoot with my main guns. I want to humiliate him. Secondaries, and down he goes. But now we have bigger problems. Nice now, it's full health and he's coming around. So I decided to sit in the smoke and use my heals. I got two heals and I completely botched that shot because I have a spotter plane which changes your aim um, slightly. I really can't hit anything with spotter planes, <laughs> but it's useful in shooting ships in smoke. So, and I should use this ship in ranked as well. So yeah, I'm using spotter planes this time. The shores is coming around. It looks like he forgot I was in the smoke, so he's not angled towards me. But it looks like I aim slightly higher than I should, and I don't, don't get any citadels. That's okay, he's in my secondary range. And looks like he's gonna die to my secondaries. I'm actually waiting for a second to kill Oh, there we go. And now I have a huge problem. The Gneisen now. Full health. 
Agonizer now, and I can only heal up to, well, a quarter, almost a third of my health. So I decide to kite him by going reverse. I got my, I got two turrets in front, so I can deal good damage to him by staying angled and bob on towards him. Uh, yeah, my destroyer needs to help me as well. I could use a distraction. He tells me, give me a second to get there, and I say, okay. I'm right here, <laughs> kiting him. And my health is so low, only, only 18k. Oh, here we go. He spots me. This time, it's for good, it's for real. I fire with all of my three guns. And then I immediately the angle. But the Gnizenar can still hurt me even if I angled because his guns are way bigger than mine. See, uh, <laughs> dispersion was really bad there. And then I decide to go HE. Why HE? Because I want to burn him. I, can't, I know I can't do much damage with my AP. I'm not gonna penetrate his deck armor with, this, uh, with these guns. So I want to set him on fire and he's gonna be in my secondary range as well. So that's gonna be a lot of fires for him if he gets in my secondary range. My other heal is up and I emitted the pop it. My seconders are... In action, I contemplate about about charging him at this time, but then I decide against it. If I charge him, well, he, there's a chance that he might kill me. But if I keep reversing, I'm gonna be dealing more damage. And he will run into my torpedoes because I can't stay angled to him. And I can use both, of, both sides. A lot of uh, my left side torpedoes on him, but it's gonna evade them. And Farragut is not really helping much at this point. Looks like he's getting wrecked by his secondaries. And I decide to torpedo my other side. I don't know why he's not anticipating he should be weaving, but he's not. He shoots my. <laughs> Armored belt and all of his shots bounce as expected. But he eats these torps and I get flooding as well. And so he's flooding and he's on fire because he used his repair earlier and he must know at this point that he is dead. So his only chance is torping me, but we pretty much won the game. comes his torpedoes but I switched to AP and I really want to kill him now for his torps connect and there he goes that was a really really good match action packed <laughs> from start to finish well not start to finish but halfway to finish and I do really good we get seven kills which is a uh, very rare in World of Warships because of how this game works we get a lot of uh, well achievements uh, I don't get much secondary damage, but we get a lot of fire damage. And 100k from our t uh, main battery and 30k from torpedoes, not really bad. And yeah, we make some good XP and money, but I spend most of the money on the <laughs> service and ammunition resupply and stuff like that. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.